Today, right now, I'm reviewing Gretel and Hansel. Okay, this is as simple as that. First thing that, uh, first thing that uh, jumps out at me is the change of the feminine name and the male name. So the girl's name gets put before the male name. I wonder what I could be in store for. That's what I was thinking initially. Um, but of course, after after I'm sitting there in the theater for uh, the majority of the movie, it finally hits me. It's not that big a deal. The movie. It's okay. Let's just let's do this. So I did try and find Hansel and Gretel, the story, the original story, um, like an audio version. I wasn't going to read the book or read the short story. I was going to find an audio version. I did. It was about 20 minutes. So I listened to it while I was eating my, well, while I was preparing my dinner the other night. And I don't know. It wasn't. It, the story I heard wasn't the story I remember hearing when I was a child. It's uh, all I know about it is it's um, German in origin, but from like way way back when. Um, now the movie, however, they did something that I like. They didn't, although although they're trying to put a more modern or or a more current spin on the story itself. They actually, the setting was actually kept in and around that specific time period that the book, that the story actually came out, okay? And of course, they also kept the language the way, mostly the way it was, um, which it, all it does, all that does for me is add more complexity. And there's nothing wrong with having a complex story in my opinion that's what i i tend to gravitate or i tend to enjoy those type of movies more when they have when they have uh when they're layered when they have extra layers to it uh the star of this film is uh the little girl who played in uh the last uh or uh the it movie another uh another book turned to to film or story turned to film i think she held her own i think she held her own in that in that, in that role and for the majority of the movie she was going against um another actress and i think the contrast of both of those characters was great you have somebody who like she just without even trying she speaks of innocence versus something who or versus the other character who really really strikes me as being not necessarily pure evil but close enough um i i, I came into it with a with a uh i was about to say open arms <laughs> i came into this with an open mind really uh I, I was expecting it to go one way seeing how uh you can tell a lot just by the name of the story is is a uh, uh, Hansel and Gretel, my best German accent Hansel and Gretel, but they changed the, they changed it to Gretel and Hansel, so so that if if you overthink it, you'll be lost just by that, but if you go into it saying to yourself hey i want to see the writer and the director's interpretation of this story they chose to take it uh down the woman down the woman's empowerment route which i don't think it's nothing wrong with that it wasn't maybe 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 i'm um maybe i'm skipping maybe i'm missing missing something but i don't think it was done in a way where it was uh 
I don't think it was overly done. I, I I think that's the best way I can describe it. I don't think uh, they could have they could have been it could have been way way more pro woman. I have to say, I don't go to the movies to be uh, bombarded with somebody's beliefs. I go to the movies to enjoy myself. It's a form of entertainment. This movie wins on that wins wins on from that aspect because visually it's i'm checking all the boxes visually bam that's one that's one check mark uh the script or just the dialogue to put it that way i won't get i'll try to get all technical the dialogue bam check that i love the way they speak it it's complex it's not like it's not complex in a way where it's like i don't know what's going on i have to do equations i have to google words no it's complex because they're not speaking how we speak now. Their um, their their speech uh, has a lot of words omitted, and it made me it made me even question the way we talk now. Cause I'm like, why? Why as a society are we have we added so many words <laughs> to say something so simple? You know, that that that's that's one part that that that, that caught my Caught, caught me. Still haven't painted the wall. Um, let me see if I could see if I could tell the story. So it starts off. Oh my god, I almost forgot. It, I think this is actually considered a horror movie because it's quite chilling. Like the setting, like it's so dark. All the shot, a lot of the shots are really dark, um, as in color. Like cause when you're looking at it, it's like damn, it's dark, but it's shot so it's. It's just, it's gorgeous to look at, like, really. You, you know, you're, you're sitting there in the beginning. The daughter's having a conversation with with the mother. The father's nowhere to be found. Uh, even though in the original story, the father kind of, the father was the uh, soft-hearted one. And it was a stepmother in the original story, or at least the version that I read. Because I'm assuming there's been hundreds of thousands of versions of the story made since since its original creation so in the version i listened to the original one of the original versions i guess um the father was the soft-hearted one and the mother was automatically deemed as evil because she's technically a stepmother which says a lot about the creator's uh, upbringing <laughs> don't like stepmothers i know it could be hard but let's not go down that path um Anyway, uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, visually it's it's fantastic, and again, the way they're speaking is good, and they're bringing up so many different dilemmas for this for this for this for this for this, for this young actress to work her way around, and she kills it. She really does a good job. I'm sitting there and I'm focused on the movie. That's one of my main. That's one of my main things to rate a movie high is its ability to transform me into that setting. I felt like I was on that on in that area, and I felt like I was starving with them because they didn't have any food. So the mother had to kick them out the house. So they go out the house, and she does a great job of like showing what it's like for a, a child to have to pretty much instantaneously step up to the plate and be a parent. Oh, they 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 walk to the forest, they <laughs> they trip on magic mushrooms, uh they get saved by a, a gentleman with a with a, a bow and arrow. Um oh but before all that happens, before they get kicked out, she the the mother tries to sell her to a brothel. Jesus. Oh and the the look, the the makeup and visually of the the guy who runs the brothel, you already don't like him before he says a word. How good is that? How good is how good is that? That lets you know how good of a movie that is. If you can already start to feel emotions towards somebody and they haven't even said a word, and when they say a word, it already it just make it solidifies it. It solidifies your thoughts. So they wind up going, 
going and going. And then they find the witch's house. The witch. But it was supposed to be made out of, you know, gingerbread or something like that. It's supposed to be like for fat kids, <laughs> right? It's supposed to fatten them up and eat them or something like that. No, they. it's actually brilliant to, to, to the route they decide to take. The house is constructed. Uh, it it, it kind of it's kind of like constructed. It almost looks like it's only the top half of a two story building, and the rest is in dirt. Oh yeah, and there was uh, uh, um, a sub story lingering around inside this story, which like they kept bringing up, and and then there's a twist in that. It turns out that that witch is actually the girl from that that story that's told inside this movie which you see what i'm getting at i love things like that it's layered that's what makes it so good in my opinion um uh the witch the witch decides to make the little girl her apprentice though but in order for her to be her apprentice she feels like she has to i guess this is the only part i really don't like feels like she has to get rid of her little brother for some reason the witch thinks the little brother is uh her her will be her downfall for some reason i don't see that as uh i don't see that point of view um but i mean at the end of the movie she winds up uh sending the little brother off anyway to where they to their to their original destination and she she decides just now I'm going to be the witch in this house. Like, what does that come from? It, the end of the movie kind of, it, it, yeah, it, it tarnishes, it kind of tarnishes what they've worked uh, so hard to build up before they get to the end. The end of the movie, it feels like they just ran out of, ran out of an idea and tried to close it off. But they, they kind of, they kind of bit them, they, they bit off more than they can chew, I feel like. Maybe I'm, Using the wrong phrases here. I feel like they did a bad job at the end. That's the only. That's the only part I didn't like. The end just kind of shrivels up and like you had something great. It was like you you you're blowing up a balloon. I can almost see the image on the balloon. Almost see the image on the balloon. Then you run out of breath and it shrinks back up and it's gone forever. Or it blows away and before you turn around and the balloon's gone forever. So I still I'm still gonna rate it pretty high, but. The end of it just killed it for me. Should just stop this video. I'm just gonna stop it. <laughs>